Hey everybody, we are now in Flagler Beach, Florida, and that is the Flagler Beach Fishing Pier that you see behind us out there. Uh, we are currently in a rainstorm right now, so we're going to stop off and eat lunch here, a place we ate two years ago. It's called the Funky Pelican. So uh, we're going to go back in there. We were hoping to sit outside right on the beach, but uh, I don't think the storm's going to allow us to do that. But they do have indoor dining, so we're going to go in there and check this place out, so go with us. This is what a stormy day at Flagler Beach looks like. Uh, just started raining about a couple of miles back down the road. So, anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the area, but I'm getting way out. So we're gonna try this again. Actually, the rain is just now starting to let up as I said that. So let's try this one more time. Walk back down the boardwalk here. I also wanna show y'all a little stop that we usually make. Uh, there's a little 7-Eleven. I love 7-Eleven. Uh, there's a little 7-Eleven right across Highway A1A just south of the pier that we always stop at and get us a Slurpee. So, that is down here. So right there across the street, that's a 7-Eleven we always uh, stop at when we're in this area and we go get us a Slurpee. And right over here is another little place. If you see the little big boy standing out front, uh, don't see the sign now, but uh, we did a review there two years ago called Wham Burger. They had a pretty good little hamburger, uh, like a little diner type place. Pretty good little place here in Flagler Beach. Okay, so we are now inside here at the Funky Pelican at the Flagler Beach Pier. We were not allowed to dine outside. Uh, it quits raining, then it starts raining again, then it quits, and then it starts. Oh. It's kind of what we're dealing with. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all the menu here at the Funky Pelican. Now, if you're ever here in good weather, I do encourage you to dine outside. It's really nice sitting there along the ocean. I see the end of the pier out there, the shelter is blown over. I don't know if that just happened during this storm or if it was already like that, but uh, it looks like the end of the pier is also hanging down. Was it? I wonder if it was damaged in the hurricane last year. I wonder if it was. I fished on that pier last year. Okay, you have to talk loud. It's a little bit loud in here. What did you get? I got the seafood mac and cheese. So okay. it's got shrimp, fish, and a garlic parmesan. That's, that sounds really good. I got I, I got shrimp and grits because I had her a bite of hers last time, and I thought these were good here. So we're back here again, very rustic looking, something you would find at the ocean. It's our third time eating here. Yep. Also, you can get you a souvenir t-shirt here from the Funky Pelican. There's several different kinds. And they got hats. Here's a nice shot of the place from out at the end of the pier, looks like. So it looks like that pier did have some hurricane damage on the end. Huh? So the gentleman that was seating people in the restaurant was just telling me that uh, indeed the pier did suffer damage from the hurricane last October. See, I fished off of that last summer. And he said it came through in October, it took the end off, so I'm sure that thing that's laying down, that did not happen today, that happened then. But it looks like the rain has stopped. 
This is Flagler Beach. You notice the color of the sand here, very different than uh, where we just came from on Siesta Key. I just got a text from her that the food is ready. I came out here because it stopped raining. I was gonna check on the temperature inside the vehicle. So here is where we're eating at. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the front of the outside. They got two big chalkboards here that you can write whatever. It gets erased at the end of the day, but uh, you can leave your message here. So, anyway, hope there's nothing bad on there. So we're gonna head back in. Actually, I probably should go in this way. So tell me again, this is uh, fish, seafood. seafood, macaroni, and cheese. Okay, so let's have fish in it and shrimp. Okay, and this is the shrimp and grits. And this is a little runnier than most shrimp and grits, but I remember you got this last year and I thought it was really good. Yeah, they gave you a sauce. They gave me what? There's a sauce over top of the Okay. Beef. All right, so uh, I don't know what those green things are. I hope that's not onions. I specifically said no onions. That's an onion. All right, we'll go ahead and take a bite of yours. Well, let's break. Uh, seafood mac and cheese. So the sauce is excellent. The garlic parmesan sauce is really good. Okay, good. So here is the outside seating deck. Uh, I'm gonna come out here and record. Uh, I think they're starting to open it back up again, so. Uh, while we were sitting inside, I actually saw a, a school of bottlenose dolphin pretty much out there. Good ways past the pier. I don't see them now. But the skies are turning blue again. Looks like the storm is moving out to sea. There it is. Got some fishing rods here in the sand. Now notice the color of that sand. It's like a deep orange color. I really like the Flagler Beach area. I always have. I love Highway A1A. If you're ever, listen, if you're ever between, say, St. Augustine and Daytona Beach, don't take Interstate 95. Do yourself a favor. Give yourself a little extra time. Get on Highway A1A and just enjoy the beauty. This is one of my favorite highways, a beach highway anyway. I love mountain highways, but this is, this is just spectacular scenery. All right, just finished up lunch here at the Funky Pelican. We decided this would be a beautiful backdrop to do our clothes out, don't you agree? I agree. All right, so why don't you start, and uh, this is our third trip here. Mm -hmm. We actually went two days in a row. We stayed at Flagler Beach a couple of years back. We came here for supper and for lunch the next day. Yep. So, we did come back for a third time. It's been a couple of years. So, why don't you start us off? So, I got the seafood mac and cheese this time. It has shrimp, it has fish, and a garlic parmesan sauce. Uh, it's the pork stew, screw kind of pasta. Um, it has actually quite a few pieces of shrimp in it. Not so much fish in it, but it was really good. Um, the bowl didn't look like it had much in it. I mean, it's wide, but not very deep. But I'm very full. Cool. It's very good. So, um, it was really good. I enjoyed my meal. Did you not like the garlic sauce that it came in? I did. Mm -hmm. It was good. Okay, that was the reason I'm asking you that. Um, I had the uh, shrimp and grits. I uh, specifically did say no onions in it because it says it comes with red pickled onions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the menu even said scallions or not. I'm going to have to go back and look I'll at that. So uh, she goes and checks to make sure I can get it without onions. She said, yeah, that's fine. So I ordered it. It comes back and it's got green scallions all over it. Obviously, if I don't want onions, I don't want scallions either. So anyway, I was able to pick those out and was able to eat it really good. That's what you got last time. I said I would get that if I came back. I think if I come back for a fourth time, I'm gonna get what you had today. But I think that shrimp and grits really was good once I got it before I could eat it. Uh, it had a little bit of a kick to it, almost like a Cajun shrimp and grits maybe. Uh, really enjoyed it. They've got surprisingly good food here. They um, do. It's just really a little place off the side of the road. And the, um, the draw to it is it's right here on the beach, but it's really actually a good place. Yeah, it is. Um, now, the reason I ask you if you didn't like your sauce, once she was done, she got, gets up and goes to the bathroom. I knew she was done. I, I've never seen so much of a good sauce left in the bottom of a bowl before. <laughs> I, I can't wrap my mind around it. I think a person who leaves that much of their sauce in the bottom of the bowl and doesn't eat it is right along there with the person who gets cake, cake icing. My aunt did that one. She got cake icing on her hands. 
and slings it off into the trash can. Who, who does that? I would never do who, that. Who slings it in the trash can? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but you left the bowl. I mean, that thick, folks, that thick of sauce at the bottom of the bowl. They do give you a lot of sauce. I took care of it. Oh, well, I'm glad it, you it did not. It. it did not go to waste. I, I'm sitting there looking at the bowl. I thought, is she coming back? And I said, no, she went to wash up. So I realized that that was mine. So I got the little added bonus there of finishing <laughs> off her sauces. You left a bunch of it. But anyway, uh, yeah, I would say another good experience. I enjoyed it here. I love the beauty, beautiful scenery behind us. Uh, the pier, they, the guy told me, I asked him if they were going to rebuild the pier. That thing's been here as long as I can remember. And he said they're supposed to start on it in 2024. So uh, it knocked 120 feet off of it. Oh, wow. It's 120 feet shorter than it was when I stood on it last year. So anyway, uh, the Funky Pelican Highway A1A here in Flagler Beach, Florida. Thumbs up. And if you like this video, do the same with it. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day.